moisture and it's ideal area. There's nothing profound in it. Forests have lots of downed trees and snags. And that's what fungi flourish on. Why not? For centuries, the Hawaiian Islands have been forming as lava spews forth from the depths beneath the Pacific Ocean. And this time, we find new life springing out from the most unusual places. Ancient volcanic craters eroding away for hundreds of years offer fertile ground for the transformation of the landscape. I believe the Shroud of Turin is the most important relic of Christianity. And I'm asking one to consider that there's a mystery involved here and helps us understand uh, this uh, momentous event on which Christianity is ultimately founded. How can you get an anatomically correct image of a man where uh, light and dark are reversed as in a photographic negative? that the only logical answer for the Shroud of Turin is that it is the cloth that wrapped the man Jesus of Nazareth after he was crucified. It is a tract or a parable for a scientific age and helps us understand uh, this uh, momentous event on which Christianity is ultimately founded. Every year I have four or five cases of true possession that I have to pray for them for weeks or even months. And I discover a terrible, terrible possession in the worst degree. I prepared myself to see what I saw in those three hours, but the reaction to evil was to run. After trips to the plant, Willie often visited a seedy neighborhood known as Low Track in Vancouver's downtown east side. The area was a gathering spot for prostitutes and drug addicts. The downtown east side is probably the biggest concentration of human misery that exists in the developed world. I mean, there's nothing like it anywhere else in terms of the numbers of people that are down and out and never coming back. At street corners and dingy bars, Willie could pay for companionship, affection, and sex, things he couldn't get anywhere else. He spent large amounts of money on the girl, whatever she wanted for like endless amounts. So when they returned, they would brag about him to the, her, their friends, that this guy is like really good guy to go be with. He began frequenting the Astoria Hotel, a pub on East Hastings Street. Here, men talked to him as equals, and women offered him sexual favors. He had grown up as a very powerless person. And to have people that he could do favors for, help out, do anything, gave him a position, gave him a feeling that he had some sort of power. Power that he enjoyed.
island of virtue. It was the haven in the heartless world. And women were seemingly apart from the public world. Masculinity was associated with the public sphere, femininity with the private sphere, with the home. She asked the band to play Star Spangled Banner. And of course, all of the Union troops, hooray, hooray, hooray. And then she asked them to play Away Down South in Dixie. And of course, the Confederates then went wild. <laughs> 